<laughs> hey everyone, today we are back with another episode of Blue Ridge Adventures. And today's gonna be, I imagine, a little bit more difficult of an adventure because for me personally, I have never really, I mean, I've played Frisbee before, but I never played it in a competitive way or I've just thrown it back and forth. So we are at Explore Park in Roanoke, Virginia, and we're going to be doing some Frisbee golf, which is Frisbee and golf mixed together. Obviously, you hear it in the name, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping my Frisbee skills are a lot better than I think they're going to be. Otherwise, I'm just going to probably embarrass myself, but either way, I'm going to have a good time, I'm going to have fun, and come along with us. Where are the golf clubs? <laughs> we aren't quite there yet. Hey everyone, it's Harrison. We're back again with another episode of Blue Ridge Adventures, and today we are with Alex North of Roanoke County Parks and Recreation. Good to see you, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. and today we're going disc golfing. So tell us a little bit about Explore Park and what y'all offer as far as disc golf. Yeah, so Explore Park is one of our county parks and facilities that is located off the Blue Ridge Parkway at milepost 115 here in Roanoke. So it's okay. a pretty unique partnership. It's a county facility and um, we're, we're excited to have you out here today to play yeah. Mayfire Hills Disc Golf Course. So not only do we have disc golf, but we have treetop quests for aerial, aerial adventure and zipline course. We have hiking and biking trails. Twin Creeks Brew Pub is here. We have a Blue Ridge Parkway Visitor Center and overnight camping. So a little bit of everything, but one of our favorite parts of the park is Mayflower Hills Disc Golf Course. Okay, and then tell us a little bit about the course. What should we expect today? Yeah, so uh, Mayflower Hills Disc Golf Course was developed in late 2017 into 2018 when it opened. Uh, we have our partners with Roanoke Disc Golf who are some of the volunteers along with some of our Roanoke County Park staff who actually uh, developed the course, uh, came up with a layout, and then turned it into an 18-hole championship level disc golf course here in Roanoke. So it's a pretty expansive course. There's over 100 ways to play it oh, wow. because not only does each, we have 18 holes, each right. hole has two baskets that you can throw to and three different tee pads. So it's a very um, awesome course. Um, it's not really for beginners, but we do have beginner tee pads. And it's a great way to not only get a good hike in and also maybe learn how to throw a disc. Right. Yeah. And then uh, do y'all have a lot of competitions here and stuff like that for disc golf? Yeah. So we do have uh, some tournaments that are held by Roanoke Disc Golf and some of our other partners um, here throughout the season. And you can go to explorepark.org slash disc golf to find out more about those. Um, spectators are welcome for those because a lot of of them are tier T or tier B and C tournaments, mm -hmm. and they have some range from 75 participants to about over 200 participants, depending on the tournament. So it's open to spectators. So if you're wanting to learn a bit, little bit more about disc golf, you can come out here and see how some of the amateurs and pros do it. And then we also have a nine hole course that's new at Explore Park within our Riverside Village. So that's a really nice course for beginners to kind of learn the game. That's awesome. Well, yeah. I'm excited to get out here and actually try it. So awesome. let's go. Yep. Hey everyone, we're here with Noah Guthrie. Noah is a uh, disc golf expert, I would say. Um, would that be correct? Sure. Yep. Term? Yeah, pre-season yeah. disc golfer. Yeah. Pre-season disc golfer. So he's gonna kind of go over a little bit about what we should expect today, how to play the game. So I guess we'll start with what are some of the rules? What makes disc golf unique? Stuff like that. So disc golf is played similar concept to regular golf where you have you know nine or 18 hole courses. Each hole has a par, you know, par three, four or five, but right. instead of hitting a ball, you're throwing a disc. Mm -hmm. um, so you're just to complete a hole, you throw off a tee pad and you get to, to you know, and to complete the hole, you land it in the basket. Okay. So same idea. There's same rules like as far as OBs and, uh, you know, drop zones and different things like that that come into play on, yeah. on the holes as well. Oh, uh, and so... I don't know what an OB is or a uh, drop hole. Yep. So uh, explain yeah. a little bit about so what yeah, those are. Certain holes to make them a little more complex, uh, OB stands for out of bounds. Okay. Uh, so if you know you throw a disc in the wrong direction, you might go out of bounds. Or a drop zone would be like if you do go out of bounds or throw in the wrong direction, you just go to that drop zone to rethrow mm -hmm. to you know, take a penalty. And then I see you've got so. a ton of discs here. Um, mm -hmm. Do they differ? So what, why, why so many? Yeah, so uh, there's I guess there's generally four different types of discs. Uh, I can you know, show each. So this is what would be, you would call a driver. Okay. Uh, so you see it's got kind of the long pointed edge, so it's intended to go faster and get you know maximum distance okay. on, on a disc like this. To step down, you've got, this would be considered a fairway driver. So it's not quite as elongated, so a little bit shorter distance, maybe a little more accuracy. Okay. Um, yeah, we've never uh, known that there were different discs for different distances. Absolutely, yep. Uh, this next one, this was would be considered a mid-range, so you can see it's got more of a rounded edge. 
so it's intended to be a little more point and shoot, a little more accurate. Okay. But you're not going to get the huge distance you would out of, say, a driver. Right. And then finally, you've got a putter. So we use a lot of the same terminology as in, as in regular golf. So this mm -hmm. has a very rounded edge and is intended more just, you know, sh close shots, putts when you're trying to get the disc in the basket. Okay. So. And uh, being a beginner, what tips do you have yeah. for me? Um, probably don't, don't start out with the super fast, super, you know, hard to throw disc. Start okay. out with the slower beginner you know, level stuff. You're not trying to throw as far. You're just trying to get form down. I think one of the biggest things with disc golf where it defers from, you know, throwing a Frisbee at the beach is mm -hmm. with Frisbee, you're kind of just wristing it. You're not putting a whole lot of effort into the throw. Whereas right. with disc golf, if you're throwing a longer shot, it's more of a full body motion. You're, you know, reaching back with your whole body, you're getting weight shift into it. It's, okay. a, it's a whole body effort to try to get that, that momentum and get the power on a throw. Okay. And anything else so, we should know before we get started? Not really. All right. Get going. All right, let's go. Gonna kind of, I would grip it more like this, like tuck your fingers in, okay. put your thumb on top, and maybe I don't know if you want to do the whole run up thing if you've never done it before, but maybe just kind of stand still, like reach reach back, and then come forward. Okay. So. Yep. Embarrassed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Got the full plate, I think. Yeah. I can't throw, so but this will be fun. Yep. So these guys are really good and I'm the complete opposite so far. Everything I throw goes that way or that way, but nothing's going straight. So hopefully I get better as we go on. That's solid. on top it doesn't count okay <laughs> so in addition to the the different speeds of the disc and the different you know types you know, they're all intended to fly differently. Some are intended to turn further to the right when you throw it, further to the left, okay. um, glide more or less. And that's all based on, there's four numbers that are kind of assigned to each disc. Okay. Um, with the first one being the speed of the disc, how fast it's intended to fly. The second one being the glide, how much it's intended to, to float. So mm -hmm. the faster discs usually have a pretty high glide number. The third one is the turn. So when you're throwing it, what we call backhand, it's its tendency to turn to the right when you throw it. And then the last number is fade, which is how much the disc is intended to fade back to the left at the end of the flight. So most okay. discs are gonna turn to the right slightly, turn back left. So all these numbers kind of factor into the flight of the disc. Okay, very cool. Yeah, it's weird that uh, I always thought a Frisbee was a Frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really cool it's to see. very yeah. specialized, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Noah, so you're saying there was a few different ways to throw a disc? Right, yeah. So in addition to the different types of discs, there's different ways you can throw them to make them fly differently. Um, most people start out throwing what's called a backhand, which is, you know, what we've been throwing. You right. just, you know, reach back, come forward. Uh, the other primary throw people use is what's called a forehand, where you basically flip your hand under the disc, put, tuck a couple fingers up underneath, and then it's a, more of a sidearm action. So you're kind of throwing it with, with that motion versus with this motion. Yeah. So it's almost like a, a baseball throw. Okay. So I can demonstrate that on this, yeah, this yeah. next hole.
All right. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's, there's a lot more strength to that throw. Well, Noah, thank you so much. Absolutely. I had a great time. Yep. Um, sorry, kind of slow, but I think I, I got yep. started to made, improve a little bit near the end. I, I got four on a three, so. Yeah, made, made progress. Yeah, so that's one of the great things about disc golf is it's very beginner friendly. It doesn't take a lot of upfront capital to get started. You can mm -hmm. go buy a few discs for $10 and just come out and, and play and learn. Yeah. So it's, and it's very beginner friendly, family friendly. It's a great sport. It was fun. I enjoyed it. So thank you again for letting us come out and play with you today and yeah. look forward to coming back and trying it again. No problem.